My topic will be today about the Excel file of the NJOS2 models. Um, first, I will start with a brief introduction about uh, and refresh your minds about the GMPs. Then I will go through the properties of the Excel file and uh, define some new outstanding input parameters since 2008 NJOS1 and then the key input parameters that go into the codes. And I will give a couple examples to demonstrate the file, how it works. And um, so um, GMPs are the ground motion prediction equations that uh, estimate the, or give the uh, median predictions of intensity measures, IMs, for given um, magnitude, uh, site to source distance, and fault mechanism, and uh, site conditions. So although some of the models, GMPs, have different terms in their um, models. Uh, basically, if you have the magnitude scaling, the style of faulting, then um, the distance scaling and the site terms in your uh, model, you will have the basic GMP. So for example, campbell bozornia model have the uh, rupture dip term. Um, not all of the models have hanging wall term, um, but some of them have, and pretty much all of the GMPs have now the basin depth term. Um, this uh, 2013 Excel file is available for all five NGFS2 GMPs. I won't go over the names that you all know, but one important thing is that the Idris model is only used for rock uh, conditions. The newest feature to the um, Excel file is that now it is using the visual basic codes. Um, so what I did is I embedded functions um, uh, in the spreadsheet. So uh, that creates, for example, for each individual GMP, uh, the function, and then it has the input parameters that go into the code. All you need to do is you will just enter the input parameters in the spreadsheet on the main sheet, and you will see the median predictions. Um, as I said, it only uh, requires the input parameters, but you will have to know what you're doing. Not necessarily we are assuming that uh, you are all GMP uh, familiar people. So the user may, have not, may not have uh, much information about the GMPs, but throughout the process when you're getting the results, uh, I created a very user-friendly spreadsheet that, where you will get uh, the descriptions of the uh, parameters or you will get errors and warnings. So you will be guided throughout the process. So at the end, as the output, you will get the ROT D50 uh, for the PGA, PGB, and PSA at 21 oscillator periods. And um, so I think overall, this, all, this spreadsheet is very good guidance for all the users, and it will save you a lot of time and effort during uh, your uh, work. So that was a screenshot from NGA West 1 2008 spreadsheet. And now this is um, the NGA West 2 2013. So the new, um, since 2008, uh, GMP developers uh, added new terms to their GMPs. For example, for ASK14, they have RY0 uh, term, which is related to the attenuation of the hanging wall effects. Then CB14 has the hypocentral depth term and the uh, rupture depth term. BSSA14 now added the uh, basin depth term. That is related to the uh, del Z1, which is the differential from the uh, average basin depth predictor variable. And CY14 has the delta DPP, the direct point parameter, which is related to the uh, directivity effects. Now you see that all the GMPs uh, are having the regional variations in their models. It could be related to the regional variations in the attenuation and elastic attenuation terms or the basin depths. So um, some of the key input uh, parameters are the magnitude, the distance, VS30, as we define it, the uh, average shear wave velocity of a site in the upper 30 meters. And then um, if your fault, uh, style of defaulting is if it's reverse, the FRV goes to one. If it's negative, FNM terms is one, and otherwise it's um, one for this frac slip fault. So the dip is the angle of the fault plane. But, uh, it's this angle here, and it's between zero to 90. Then there is the basin depth term Z1 or Z2.5, and this is the depth to where the uh, rise, uh, shear wave uh, velocity horizon goes to one kilometer per second or 2.5. I think there's a typo in the PDF, sorry about that. Then there is the depth, uh, depth to the top of rupture, Z-tor, and um, if you have a site on the hanging wall, then the hanging wall flag goes to one. So uh, this is an example to show, for example, if you have a vertical strike slip fault as here, 
the, uh, and there is no um, depth to the top of rupture, then that means the closest distance from the recording site to the ruptured area and the shortest horizontal distance from the recording site to the vertical projection of the rupture will be the same. So um, that will be not the case if you're having a dipping fault, for example, as here. And if you're on the hanging wall site, then your Rx value goes to uh, positive. But you don't have to worry all these things. All the definitions of the parameters um, are given in the spreadsheet on the main sheet. You don't have to recall any of that. And just below these input parameters part, um, you will have this very helpful figures that I showed now uh, related to the uh, source mechanism. Um, so as I said before, this spreadsheet is, is very user friendly. So you will uh, see the, um, if you're entering some numbers that gives errors or warnings or you will see descriptions and the limitation of the models in this uh, column here. Also, um, since this spreadsheet is using the visual basic macros, uh, I have different individual uh, sheets in the spreadsheet that are locked. You are only allowed to enter the input parameters in the main sheet. These are correlated to each other. But this is just to show you an example what input parameters go into the each uh, visual basic macro. You can see these uh, parameters in these uh, sheets. So let me give you an example. For example, if I have a magnitude 7.2 event, uh, the distance is 10 kilometer on the rock, and it's a vertical strike slip fault, the hypercentral depth is known and it's seven kilometers. Uh, there's no depth to the top of rupture, and um, the width of the fault is 15 kilometers, and let's say we know the basin depth 0.6, and let's say the site is on in California. So in that case, once you open your Excel file, First, you have to enable the macros, otherwise you will get errors. Then you will assign the weights to each GMP, however you want to, um, which um, output you want to get from the GMP. But you should be careful that the weights should sum up to one. And you will enter your input parameters as such. Then you get the outputs on the main sheet that looks like this for PGA, PGV, and PSA for 21 oscillator periods, and plus and minus standard deviations. So um, an important thing is that let's say, uh, I'm keeping the same example for reference, let's say you don't know your basin depth. In that case, um, below the input parameters part, you will have this calculated variables, which only has the default numbers that are calculated here, and that goes actually in the code. So if you don't know your basin depth for CB14 model, you will see that the default number is calculated like here. It says the default, and that directly goes to the code. So you don't have to do anything. You just enter the unknown um, flag to it. Another important thing is that if you don't know your hypocentral depth, for example, and um, well, you will have two options. First, if you know some information about the geometry of the fault or the ZTOR, then the default hypocentral depth can be calculated and that will go um, defined in the code. Or you don't know anything about it, then the default should be nine kilometers. These are uh, assigned by the earthquake spectra papers by the GMP developers. And um, the new feature and which is really important is that what if uh, your site is not necessarily in California, Taiwan, New Zealand, or you don't want to set it global. Let's say your site is in uh, Japan. So if you want to set it other than zero, then uh, in the input parameters part, you have this region tag. And um, once you click it, you will see the descriptions uh, for this uh, regions as menu here. All you need to do is just um, choose the uh, tag for the specific region that applies from the menu. Um, a very important thing, again, uh, an item uh, related to the spreadsheet is the model applicability. Because uh, all of the models have um, kind of different um, ranges for where the model is um, good. So for example, for CB14, these are the ap model applicability um, cases. So if you're having a magnitude less than three, um, you will see the results, but you will also get an, a warning that uh, this is out of the range for that specular, uh, specific uh, GMP. 
Uh, that concludes my um, presentation. I was aiming to have a very informative um, presentation since you don't have the spreadsheets yet. So it will come out very soon. I know all of you are asking when is it, uh, when it will be released. So there will be an announcement and you will know um, when it's released. So I would like to thank the ERI team and NJWS to model developers and all the collaborators, uh, Yusuf, Nick and Sylvia for the reviewing process. And that's my contact email. If you have any questions or comments, you can just uh, send me an email.